Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Shahzad and you're watching my YouTube channel Skill Set with Shahzad. Okay, today uh, we are gonna make a video on Ether Channel and uh, Ether Channel uh, will create and let's see with the scenario here is our one switch and here is second switch <coughs> And we have uh, extra ports on our both switches and uh, we want to create a ether channel the ether channel advantage is like you know in the cisco switches and most of the network switches uh, spanning tree is running and spanning tree is sending <coughs> some packets bpdus we, we we know that bpdu is also working there so they are checking the loop. If there is a loop, they will block a link. So like forwarding, block state, you know that, familiar with that. So I will go, I will not go on that topics. So today we will focus on a ether channel. So if I connect uh, my, these two uh, switches, like if I connect port one with port one, you can see here, it's orange now. And it's uh, second one also orange let's wait a little and see uh, what's happening with these two lights it will be green we will see the both will be green after a while let's see just to wait because it's still uh, listening learning from each other like they're okay so both you can see it's green with this one green this one green let's connect another another port two with two okay now see if it is also green i will option and i will go to my preferences and here port labels i will not show okay now you can see we can see because there before the port label was coming on this uh, colors i was wanna show you that's why i uh, remove the port labels let's see if this one is goes up again okay so you can see this one is block state this one is green mean forwarding state let's connect another cable three with three and let's see what's happening now I will give one or two seconds more just wait it's working okay again you see this side this switch all three green this switch one link is green and two is in block state let's con configure another one uh, connect another one fourth cable okay so four cables are connected I'll bring it here so you guys can see okay let's see this fourth cable <coughs> okay this side in this switch you saw that all links are forwarding state and in this switch one is forwarder wording state and three is block because it's creating a loop if, if it is going to another is creating the packet is traveling from here to here and if it is on and it will create a loop that's why spanning tree is blocking these three ports because it's only one to connect and there is no other way to reverse back that packet so <clears throat> this is the normal behavior but as of now these switches thinking that all these links are a separate links and they are uh 
in and out packets are happening that's why it's getting back if we send a packet here from here and it's coming back so they will block the other three links and one link will be open so ether channel what is ether channel we'll configure ether channel and this switch will put all these port all these uh, four links into one pipe so it will be like a one pipe so if i show you it will be like a one pipe we'll fill a color this one select a color so it will create we'll create a port channel like this and we'll make all four links into a one pipe so then physically it's look like four cables and four links but switch will keep it as a one pipe and it will consider as a one link so it will make it one link so all will be in forwarding so instead of getting for example this is 1g link we are getting speed now only 1g and then when we'll fit all four into one pipe it will give us 4g speed okay so let's configure an ether channel and then we will go next and you will see the states let's come on this switch zero i'll come here i'll go here i'll go no i'll say enable and show spanning tree first okay you can see details interface summary enter okay vlan one three ports are in blocking state one is forwarding here is three are block one is forwarding okay and four active stp links are there let's see which one is forwarding we will see the link is one i think the first one is forwarding okay so on the other side here is one forwarding three blocking on the other switch we'll see enable show spanning tree summary here is all forwarding because spanning tree is not blocking from this side from this switch side is blocking from other switch side for reverse way okay yalla let's create port channel and then we will see if all are green the magic okay i'll go first show interface status we know our four links 1 to 4 are connected so first we will create port channel <coughs> port channel and you can give a id here is 1 to uh, 48 this id is a local id it's not like unique like okay we created port channel 1 here in this switch and second day we cannot create no we can create so it's a locally number okay enter okay so we can say switch port mood okay port channel created so now we will go interface range fast ethernet 0/124 channel channel group 1 and mood is active active mean lacp you can see lacp active next enter okay all port goes down see all port from this switch side goes down and it will not come up because it will go into if i go into right memory i will save and i'll show you so ether channel summary you can see all four port protocol we active we give active that's why it's uh, lacp 
and all po all ports are in 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 uh, stand alone because the other side we have in configure okay the other side we have in configure 0 1 2 3 4 okay let's go for the other side i'll go here we'll create here also interface port channel 1 exit and we will say interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to 4 channel group group 1 mode active ok let's see all goes down again write memory and let's wait the magic <coughs> And let's see if the farming Wallah, see the magic? You will see the magic again. So let's see. Here side all green. This side will be also up and no for no in a show ether channel summary all passive 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 okay so all are passive we are good so here ether channel is up show ether channel summary all passive passive right show spanning tree summary still learning straight learning 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 in this side show spanning tree summary forwarding all in forwarding show ether channel summary all passive so this is all passive and see all are green now and if we see it this one will be also in in the forwarding state see also in forwarding states so both side we have a forwarding state and both side is now we have a full uh, ether channel configured and see all are green on both side so this is the advantage of ether channel why we configure ether channel so this is the advantage of ether channel see root card and other stuff is there So guys, if you like my video, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the upcoming videos. See you then. Again, I'm reminding you before you closing my video, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.